Welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and welcome to Sri Lanka. I am so excited to announce that we are here with the tourism board of Sri Lanka. We are going to be spending the next few days exploring this beautiful country and island from north to south taking you for all that it has to offer in terms of food. We're gonna be exploring some beautiful sites. We're gonna be eating some village food. We're gonna be eating lots of street food, of course. And today is our first episode. So we are here in Colombo, the largest city of Sri Lanka and the capital. This morning we woke up bright and early. We just arrived last night and you can see behind me here, we are at the local wholesale fish market. So I'm super excited to go inside, check that out. We have a full day of exploring Colombo planned. We're gonna be eating all kinds of street food, seeing some sights, and really grateful to be here with the tourism board for an epic tour of Sri Lanka. So let's go inside the fish market and see what we see. first stop in Sri Lanka and it is definitely uh, jumping right into things because this market is crazy lots of friendly people tons of seafood of course we're on an island so Sri Lanka is famous for their seafood all kinds of different types this market is huge and very very busy we got here about 6 a.m. and it is just bustling with locals really cool place to uh, walk around in the morning and very friendly people hello 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 so something very common at this market is people carrying the buckets on top of their head, transporting the fish, really heavy loads, and uh, man, I'm just blown away. There are a lot of types of fish, but one particular fish that is really common here is swordfish. So they're actually dragging the swordfish around with big gaffs, hooks, and dragging them along. But uh, it's not only swordfish here, there's everything. The fish sold at this market is not only for Colombo. They are selling them around the island. So this is actually the largest fish market here in Sri Lanka and it's wholesale, like I said. So these fish are just being shipped all across the island. <laughs> Lots of friendly people, everyone's interested in the camera. <laughs> There are some huge fish here, like that tuna right there. Uh, he was trying to see if he could pick it up, not even close. I wouldn't be surprised if that fish is hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Yeah, look. Yeah? Yeah. This place is the real deal. I love coming to places like this, full of locals, only locals, no tourists here, and the real way of life for many Sri Lankans. Just such an authentic experience, really cool. So we actually haven't eaten anything for breakfast and the smell of the fish is getting a little bit strong. So I think we're gonna leave now, head to go get something to eat. So what do you think of your first Sri Lankan market? Oh, this is awesome. Everybody is so welcoming. It's friendly, people are joking around. I had a lot of fun here, but it's super hot. The sun's starting to come out. <laughs> All right, we have made it to breakfast. I am starving and ready to try my first Sri Lankan meal. Hey. We are at the breakfast restaurant now, really small place, very local feeling, and they're making some fresh egg roti. So I think we're gonna have a couple things, but this is definitely not our only spot for breakfast today. Super excited to be sitting down for my first Sri Lankan meal, and we have some typical Sri Lankan breakfast. So here is milk rice. This is made with coconut milk steamed and then served with luna miris, which is a sambal of onions and chili 
probably pretty spicy and some lime juice. Back here we have the classic egg roti, which we saw him making outside, just a egg cracked inside of a very thin bread and then fried. And then we have two types of curry, which looks so good. This one here is a fish curry, spicy. And then this one over here is a dried fish curry and not so spicy. So first of all, I'm gonna try this. I haven't even heard of this dish prior to coming to Sri Lanka, so I'm excited to try it out and see what the flavor is. And let me grab a little bit of sambal and let's try some of that. Mm. Oh man, that sambal is awesome. That rice, you can taste the rich coconut milk flavor. It is really good and it's actually quite a dense rice. Then the sambal has some raw onions in it, raw chilies, it is definitely quite spicy, very spicy actually. Okay, let me try this egg roti next. Dip it in one of these curries. Maybe I'll start with the fish curry, the spicy version. Mm. Mm -hmm. That one's not nearly as spicy as the sambal, but there's definitely a heat kick and a little bit of a seafood flavor. Let me try this other one though, which is made with the dried fish. I'm expecting it to be a little bit more seafoody flavored than the other. Mm. Oh yeah, actually that has a very strong dried fish flavor. Still very good. And you can taste coconut in there too. This one is definitely my favorite and it's a lot lighter or watery uh, than I expected but still very flavorful. Really good with the egg roti. And this is such a unique texture to it, the roti. It's very stretchy and almost chewy. Mm. And I was just told that I should pour a little bit of curry on top here. Oh man, I'm in heaven. This stuff is really good. It is quite spicy. And I actually think I have a chili on my nose. It's kind of stinging. Mm. I don't know how it got there, but I don't mind because the food is so good. Very good food, very cool restaurant too. The atmosphere in here is local. It's just a tiny little shop on the side of the road and serving some really traditional uh, Sri Lankan food. Mm. So we are stopping now just inside the restaurant for a herbal drink. I'm interested to see what this tastes like. I don't really know what to expect. which is called Harili. So we have our concoction of herbal drink. You can see here it's quite thick and it's actually served piping hot. So it's actually half curry leaf juice and half of another local herb called mukwena. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think we'll see it later at the market, but let me try it. Oh, yum. It's actually more of like a soup. It kind of reminds me of a French onion soup, really. The curry flavor isn't as strong as I thought, and they recommended that I chase it with a little bite of jaggery. Jaggery is like an unrefined palm sugar. Very sweet. Yeah, really, really sweet. We're right on the side of the street, and her stall is really cool. So she has a couple of vats, and she's mixing up the drinks, making these delicious concoctions, and tons of locals are here. Uh, eating this up for breakfast or drinking this up I should say so I'm gonna give it a try looks interesting oh yeah wow pretty like, good right salty I didn't expect it to be salty but it is and it's it is like soup you're right it's like a soup almost mm -hmm. like an onion soup or something like an onion or like a vegetable soup it has like a very earthy flavor and I'm gonna try it with this uh, jaggery. jaggery right very sweet very sweet that's good mm, it's not bad good eh? mix. it's pretty hearty isn't it mm -hmm. It's a very thick it's soup. It's quite thick, it's hot, so it warms you up, warms your stomach up for the day of eating spicy food. Feels like a full meal, actually. It probably could be a full meal. So we have one more stop for breakfast today. There's another thing I really wanted to try. It's called String Hopper, so we're actually heading to another restaurant to try that. Let's take over. Oh. Pepper? Yeah. At the next restaurant, this place is much larger than the last one, very airy, and we are having two things in particular, and that is the idiapa and the appa, or egg hopper and string hopper, so really excited to try those. 
Oh. Uh, it smells good. There's a huge pot of curry in here that they are cooking in the back kitchen, and apparently he's gonna let me try it. I'm a little bit worried it's hot. Just like this? No, no, no. This, this, this. Oh, is it hot? Yeah, hot, uh, low, normal hot. Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh yeah, wow. You can taste a little spicy. Look at this, man. Green Joel? Yeah, Green Joel. Green Joel. Yeah. Oh, Green Joel. So this is eggplant. Mm. So I was just invited into the back kitchen, sampled some of the curries that they're making back there, especially one, the Brinjal, which you saw me try there. That was eggplant curry. A little bit spicy and very hot. Uh, nice and soft eggplant though, really good. Food has arrived, the first one, as I mentioned, the egg hopper, you can see here, crispy outer shell, and then that nice fried egg in the middle. Looks like he actually broke the yolk up and mixed it around. Over here is a type of curry, this is another fish curry, white fish curry. And then back here is something that I'm super excited to try, it's called pulled sambal, which is a coconut sambal. Coconut grated, mixed with chilies, and a couple other ingredients. Back here, once again, uh, something I'm looking forward to trying big time is the string hoppers, the idiapa. And very interesting little dish. I've never seen anything in another country quite like this. So it looks like noodles. It's actually made with fermented rice flour, and it's meant to be eaten with the curry. So I'm actually gonna take one of these, put it on my plate here, and I'm gonna definitely mix some of this curry in with the, uh, string hopper so i'll pour a little bit of curry right on top like this oh man he told me that i should have a lot of curry because it might be hard to eat and then a little bit of the uh whole sambal not too much because it's supposed to be pretty spicy oh man let me try that that looks absolutely incredible mm. Mm. oh yeah Wow, that string hopper does an incredible job at retaining all of that curry. It really soaks it in, becomes extremely saturated. The curry itself is not spicy, very rich with the coconut milk flavor once again. And then that pole sambal is so good. It's got a very uh, kind of exotic, tropical taste to it from that coconut and a tinge of heat from those chili flakes. So let me try this next, the uh, appa or egg hopper and I'm just gonna try it plain by itself. There is quite a bit of black pepper you can see here, which is a very popular ingredient here in Sri Lanka. Mm. Mm. Sort of like a savory pancake. Okay, I gotta dip it, I think, in a little bit of curry here. Let me dip this a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah, man, I'm in heaven. Curry heaven, this is so good. Okay, I'm gonna try the fish, the white fish that's in here and Eat that with a little bit of string hopper. And oh man, I can see tons of black pepper too. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. So rich. That fish is actually a little bit tough and kind of chewy, but it's okay because the curry flavor definitely makes up for it. I knew when we came to Sri Lanka that the flavor was gonna be intense because they're just packing spice into a very delicate, almost watered down version of what I know as curry. So it's just extra rich in flavor, a real bomb uh, to the taste buds, but I am absolutely loving it so far. Whew, I am stuffed after that, but such a delicious breakfast. Sri Lankans definitely don't mess around with breakfast. They like it spicy and flavorful. So apparently there is a market, vegetable market this time that we're going to head to very close to here. What are we doing? We are going right into a vegetable market and it's at the main bus station and the train station, so it's quite busy. I think this is the center of town, very busy. Yeah, so we're heading in right now, see what we can find. So we're kind of in a traffic jam between the tuk-tuk and lots of people and lots of vegetables and fruit. Really uh, vibrant market. Hello. Banana. Banana. 
So right here is something that I just spotted that I want to try and that is called the wood apple. So yeah, it has a pretty pungent smell, almost like uh, blue cheese and definitely strong. What do you think? Ooh. Smell that one. Like what blue cheese? What is that? Yeah, almost like blue cheese, but like a fruity tone to the blue cheese. This market has got to be just as crazy and busy, if not more, than the fish market this morning. Lots of friendly people once again. They are selling mass amounts of produce. Everything. Onions, uh, avocado, mangoes. Yeah, everything going on. Lots of life. Very vibrant. Awesome. Taste it? So we're just stopping at a little spice shop here and he gave me a cardamom pod. I'm gonna try it out. Mm. Yeah, almost a little bit licorice -y. Actually not as strong as I had imagined. Check out all the pineapple. This is literally a pineapple hill. This is crazy. Looks amazing. Check this out here. This is Sri Lanka's most important ingredient, the coconut, and this one's called the king coconut. We're not gonna try it right now. We have ample opportunity to try it in the future, but I wanna try to see if I can pick this up. It looks like it's gonna be super heavy. Oh man, it's so heavy. No! So we were finished off at the vegetable and fruit market. Really cool, right in the center of Colombo, yet it almost feels rural, very traditional. So I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break go meet up with my buddy Reed and before we head back out for some more snacking later. What's up? Hey, I made it. <laughs> All right, so you may remember Reed from some previous episodes. He's going to be accompanying us on our Sri Lankan tour for the next two weeks. Super excited. We're gonna eat a bunch of good food, but I guess we're going out now to do some city sightseeing. So let's go. Let's go. making a quick pit stop at this building behind me here. This is Independence Square. So when Sri Lanka became independent from Britain, they built this square and building behind me uh, in remembrance of that day. So it's actually a replica of a building that is in Kandy, which is another city here in Sri Lanka, except the difference is this one's built out of concrete and the one in Kandy is built mainly out of wood. So it's a beautiful building. Lots of locals just chilling in the shade here. So we only have one full day here in Colombo. Well, tomorrow we have a special episode planned and we're not gonna have any time to do any sightseeing. So we're trying to squeeze it all in today if we can. So on to the next spot. All right, we are at our next stop and this is called the Ganga Rama Temple, Buddhist temple. Pretty excited to check this out. This is our first Sri Lankan temple. So we are exploring the temple. It is one of the main temples here in Colombo. It's sort of like a complex. You can see behind me is one of the most beautiful temple buildings I've ever been in with the massive yellow Buddha statues. There's also this whole area here with the stupa and a jade Buddha. So lots to see and just walking around barefoot, really relaxing and peaceful. This is a really cool temple. It's really colorful. There's like influences from Buddhism from different parts of the world here. So it kind of is like very accepting of all different aspects of Buddhism. So it's, we've learned a lot here and it's really beautiful. Also, our guide was just telling us that there's actually some Hindu statues in here mm -hmm. as well because uh, that's pretty common here in Sri Lanka to yep. find some Hindu statues in the Buddhist temples. Yes. We were heading to get a snack now. What did you think of the temple, Reed? Oh, it was gorgeous. It was really, really nice. Super cool, but I'm so hungry now, so <laughs> let's go get a snack. Yeah. So we are now at Petta Bazaar, which is a shopping street, kind of a touristy area, and there's some attractions like this behind me, which is the Red Mosque, one of the oldest mosques in Sri Lanka and it is very busy once again. Less peaceful than the last temple, but very beautiful mosque. Just check out the colors.
चिकन So we're doing a walk through the Petit Bazaar and we spotted a little stall selling some type of soup. It's like a congee, so it's made with rice and chicken and there's also ginger in here, tons of spices of course, and a uh, really busy stall, lots of locals here and served hot in a glass cup, so really interesting preparation. It smells really good, let me try it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little bit spicy. Actually, it's really thick and quite spicy. Little ginger flavor. The rice and the liquid almost feel like the same texture because it's extremely thick. That's pretty good. Mm. I think it tastes those curry leaves. Actually, I think I have a curry leaf in my head. Mm. Yeah, that just packed with a bunch of spices. Mm. Ooh, that's spicier meat. than I thought. Oh yeah. Wow, that's really good. We are on the hunt for Lassie, one of my all-time favorite drinks. Fresh curd, very sour, great for the stomach. Uh, looking in the market, maybe we found a place here that has it. Let's check it in. We are waiting for curd to come fresh. We're at a Lassie shop, they've run out. They're gonna bring it in about five to 10 minutes. So we're just waiting. <laughs> so we're sitting, waiting? Yeah. Pretty cool shop. The Lassie's good? Nah, Lassie's good. Lassie's good. Yeah? Lassie's good. Lassie's good. Lassie's Lassie's good. good. Yeah? Okay, Lassie's we will wait then. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting for the curd to arrive for the Lassie, but they also have some samosas here. So we ordered a chicken samosa and some tomato sauce. So I'll put a little sauce in the in the bin here. They gave us all of these, but uh, you just eat whatever you want. And uh, they will put the rest back, what you don't eat. Mm. It's pretty good. It's crispy on the outside, very crispy. Lots of onions. Once again, definitely curry powder inside. All kinds of spices. A little bit of chicken, but not too much. So the curd has arrived. We've got ourselves a mango lassi, so you can get all different kinds of flavors. Popular ones include mango, definitely, and banana. But uh, yeah, we ordered the mango. Let's try it out. It looks really thick and refreshing. Mm. It's very thick. I can barely pull it up the straw. Mm. Oh yeah, and sweet from the mango. They must have put some sugar in there because it is quite sweet and actually not as sour as I remember last year. Mm. Very sweet. Pretty good. Quick little stop for a lassie, nice and refreshing. Not the best one I've ever had for sure, but pretty good. And I love the little refreshment stands that you can pop into. There's all kinds of them around uh, the Petit Bazaar area. Stopping at our next shop. This is a, another sweet shop. I was just told that it's 83 years old and we're going to try Faluda. We have the Faluda now. This is the rose water flavor. So there's rose water syrup at the bottom. You can see all that red down at the bottom here. The Faluda is the ice cream with, made with uh, fresh milk on top here, sort of melting. These look like basil seeds. I'm not exactly sure if they are. And then this is something made with cornstarch. And it kind of looks like a noodle. So I was told that I should stir it up very well. So let me stir it. Look at that, wow, that's a beautiful color. That looks delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, that is really good. Super strong floral flavor from the rose water. And then all those little chewies in there, very nice texture. And you can definitely taste the sweetness from the fluta. Mm. Mm. It's like frothy on top, but wow, that was a strong, rose flavor, very, very strong. Nice and refreshing. I think this guy loves rose water and rose flavor here because when you walk in, that's what you can smell. We tried a little piece of jalebi and it kind of tastes like this, and this is just extremely strong in the rose flavor. Wow. It's pretty strong. It, it looks great. I do like rose water. Rose water milkshake. Mm. It's very nice. Yeah, it's really good. 
Do you like it? Yeah, I do. It's pretty good. Lots of snacking this afternoon. All kinds of interesting drinks from the chicken soup to the rose water, but all were pretty good, really good. I especially like that rose water one. Yeah, that was a treat. This market is quite crazy. Uh, it's starting to get almost to sunset time, so I think we're going to head across the city to a place to watch the sunset. Come to the coast here in Colombo to an area called Gall Face Green. It's kind of a beach, but really it's a field that's right on the ocean. So you can see the ocean behind me here. Lots of people flying kites behind me. The sun is setting. There's all kinds of vendors. You can buy uh, inflatables, you can buy kites, and the waves are really coming in, crashing. It's quite beautiful, and we are just uh, cooling off after a long day of eating. It is a party down here. People be flying kites, people are eating street food, people are swimming. It's pretty windy and uh, cool down it's here. It's nice. Though. It's a great way to cool off and hang out. I guess a lot of local villagers come down here on school trips and they hang out by the beach. It's a main attraction for them here in Colombo. So very interesting to see so many people down here and hanging out, having a good time. <laughs> Here we just stopped at one of the seaside restaurants and he, he's making kotu, which is like kind of like fried rice but without the rice. They use roti instead. He invited me back here to attempt to cook it. I've never even seen it being cooked before. So uh, he'll demonstrate first for me, of course, and then I'll try. So he's adding some chili flakes, some uh, what's this, curry, a little bit of gravy. And you can see all the little roti kind of shreddings inside there. Okay, we have our kotu roti. This is something I've been looking forward to try. Really interesting preparation, as you just saw. And it's a very simple dish. They just use the very thin roti mixed. We ordered vegetarian, so there is carrots, there is onions, green onions, and then we've got more onions on the side, raw, a cucumber, and it looks like a tomato. Over here, we've got a little bit of a tomato sauce. And then back here, we've got a dry chili sambal. And you can hear him going in the background, chopping the kotu. Let me try just by itself. Oh, that is really good. I love the texture. Mm. So the texture of the roti is very chewy. It's not fried crispy at all. It still retains a little bit of elasticity. There's definitely some chili flakes mixed in there. I didn't even use the sambal. And then all of those veggies too, a little bit crisp. Let me try some with uh, this tomato, I think this is like a tomato sauce on the side. Let me try. 
Mm. Mm. It's actually kind of smoky. Wow, that's really good. Really hearty and definitely filling. And a lovely restaurant right on the side of the sea with a nice background, some tall buildings. That was really good. Definitely lived up to my expectations. That was the dish I was looking forward to trying the most today. And I definitely wasn't expecting to try and cook it myself. So very unique experience, very delicious. So we have one more special thing on the menu today. We're going to go try. What's in here? Yeah. Wow. We're at our next spot and we've got all kinds and, of different foods. What is that? And biryani. Biryani, okay. Biryani, biryani. Biryani. Okay, yeah. And dum biryani. Okay, a couple different types of biryani. Finger first biryani. Many types. Finger oh, okay. first, no meat. Okay. And fried rice. Fried rice. Yes, fried rice. And then what do you got here? Curry? And macaroni. And finger first kotti. Parata kotti. Pan kotti. Dolphin kotti, naan kotti, kubus kotti. All right. Yeah. And mutton curry, mutton barbet, mutton paya. This is mutton? Paya. Paya. Oh, mutton paya. Oh. And wow. mutton kuruma. Wow, yeah, you have everything. And brain. And brain. Master brain, mutton. Where's the brain? Mutton brain. Mutton brain. Mutton brain. There's the brain. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And cuttlefish. Okay. Cuttlefish, egg, and fish. Fish. Wow. So, fish. really everything. What is what is your favorite? What what one is your favorite? Eh? Yeah. One of my and beef and all item. All item. All item. All item. Good answer. There was chicken, masala chicken, farandi chicken, jelly chicken, tandoori chicken, grilled chicken, roast chicken, barbecue chicken, chicken kurma, chicken curry. All right, all right, and bitch. Okay, Sri Lanka. <laughs> you heard it here first. He's got everything. Abdul Ami Tweedy, taste and food, Rashi Kade, Askar Hotel, Daddy Mama Samir. Okay. So, as you just heard from the owner, they have every dish basically imaginable all kinds of different curries all kinds of bright oranges and yellows it really smells good especially this soup this beef soup it smells really it's good cool. yeah and looks really good so I, i'm not exactly sure what we're going to try in all but i know we're going to try the brain for sure we are sitting down at our final stop of the day reed and i are about to embark on a sri lankan food adventure we have brain so this is mutton brain curried you can see big chunk of brain our guide brought us here saying that uh, this was something special that we needed to try and you can see that's a thick gravy and a big chunk of brain we also have the mutton paya which is mainly like the cartilage and the bones the fat so maybe you want to try this one first or the brain I'm, I'm gonna go for the brains. Okay, first. let's go yeah. for the brains. So we also have the roti, so I'm definitely gonna eat it with a little bit of roti. Yes, I recommend you do the same. So last time I had brain, we were in Lebanon and it was really good. But uh, I've had also the opposite experience before too. Which we had one together. Yeah, together. <laughs> in Jai. In Taiwan, yeah. So I'm actually just gonna break a little piece off, I think, and just kind of put it on top like this. Creamy. Super creamy. Really creamy. <laughs> wow. This reminds me of like the last time we ate this and I just kept feeling like wow it's like a really soft cheese. Mm. And then the gravy is also thick. They almost have a similar consistency. Flavor wise, I can't even really taste the brain. No. Maybe a little gaminess, but it's barely. It's mostly texture. Yeah, it's mostly texture. Really all about that gravy. Or I'm actually just gonna grab maybe one of these bones. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh yeah. Actually, wow. there's a little bit more meat on there than I expected. Strong wow. curry flavor, coconut too. Yeah, I like this brain on. The yeah. mutton pie, that, that pie is really good. Yeah. This is something very unique. 
that I, I gotta get a little more of. Yeah, I'm glad we could try this today in Colombo. You can actually see like the layers of the brain. Interesting way to end the day. Mm. our day now with some tea which we actually haven't tried yet here in former Ceylon so really excited to try some real Ceylon tea. Cheers guys. Cheers. Oh yeah. Wow. That is sweet and creamy. Whoa. Really sweet. Oh my god. At least like but a full that's good. film in your mouth yeah. of just sweetness. Yeah. That's Act, beautiful. But it's got a deep flavor. Oh yeah. Super. You can taste it. It's almost spicious and he pulled it so it's very frothy on top. Actually our guide was telling us that usually they'll use powdered milk but I saw him put uh, condensed milk into this one or a little, little evaporated milk. Thick. This is very a dessert. Thick. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah. So we just jumped into a tuk-tuk. We are heading back to our hotel and that is the end of today's episode. What an incredible day of exploring Colombo, day one here in Sri Lanka. Yeah. We have a lot more planned for you. Make sure to tune in for the next episode because we are taking you to one of the best restaurants in Asia, one of the top 50. <laughs> it is called the Ministry of Crab. We're gonna be having some Sri Lankan mangrove crabs. Really excited. We've got a lot more planned and today was just incredible. What was your favorite thing we ate today? Oh my goodness, what wasn't my favorite thing? Everything was so delicious, but I really liked the string hoppers and the egg hoppers for breakfast. That was delicious with that fish curry. Yeah. Loved it. I hope you guys can hear us okay. It's pretty loud in here, but thanks for watching. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe <laughs> and like this video, leave us a comment down below what you thought looked the most delicious, and we'll see you again from Sri Lanka very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.